Okay, uh, Cutter, describe your cake, please. I made a red velvet cake with equal layers with a good cream cheese frosting. What is that on top? It's the American flag. Okay. Whilst I admire how much you love your country, I've never quite seen a flag like that. Yeah, I know. I ran out of time. And the outside of the cake looks like a hairy back. What is that? Yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I shouldn't have added it. Do you have a hairy back? Yeah, I do, actually. Is it modeled on the side of that? <laughs> Pretty much. OK, uh, so uh, the outside looks ridiculous. I'm hoping inside it tastes delicious. Wow. That's a uh, generous portion of frosting. Holy mackerel. However, I'm all about taste. Mm. Moist, delicious. But it is so sweet. I mean, take a little bite and just get a little gist of what I'm saying. It's sticking to the roof of my mouth and on my first mouthful. You've cooked the sponge beautifully. However, it's about that ratio, and you've got to get that balance right, Cutter. Damn. That's good. So just visually, the frosting looks really heavy. I think it's a good cake, but I don't think it's too sweet. Uh, I have to disagree with Chef Ramsay. I think it actually tastes pretty good to me. I think just everybody has a different palate. But I mean, it's, I think it's one thing if somebody gives you their feedback for you to be humble enough to say. Right, and that's why I'm trying to figure out where the balance just, is because so I don't just know. let me finish. I mean, you don't want to just sit there and say, I stand by it. It's good. Because no, no, no. then it's I like, well, why does anyone not, give sorry, you. Sorry, that's criticism. not what I meant for it to come out like. I just want to understand what is considered too sweet well, compared with. Now you know that this is considered oversweet. I'm not following. What's, what's the discussion here? What don't you agree with? It's not that I don't agree. OK, let's change that, OK? Let's get that straight. I'm trying to learn here. I taste cream cheese, and that's what I'm trying to understand is what's considered more sweet. Are you the kind of guy who lives in, in, in a delusion? Like, if any time we tell you something, you're going to become so defensive. Look, I'm on the edge of going home. I'll be honest with you. I'm on the edge of going home. Baking sucks for me. I do get defensive because I do feel like I put my passion and my heart into everything I put in. If you think Gordon's pal is terrible, you're allowed to That's think that. That's not what I said at all. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Cutter is just sitting there shooting himself in the foot. And why would you mouth off to Joe? And why would why would you have anything to say other than yes, sir? I think that you have to have respect for us and our opinions of what we tell. I'm trying my damnedest. All I'm trying my damnedest. All I do is get hammered. All you do is interrupt me when I'm talking to you, and you sound ignorant, Cutter. <laughs> Baking sucks for me, all right? Wow. Yeah, I do to get defensive, because I do feel like I put my passion and my heart into everything I put in. If you think Gordon's pal is terrible, you're allowed to think that. That's not that. what I said at all. Don't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Dude. I'm trying my damnedest. All I do is get hammered. All you do is interrupt me when I'm talking to you, and you sound ignorant, Cutter. In your opinion, who should we send home? In my opinion, for what you're looking for in a true master chef, I think you should li send Leslie home. <laughs> it's, all, it's all a big circle, Leslie. You laugh, but it's all a big circle. I'm not even talking to you. Are you still here? Willie, Leslie, Dan. Cutter, uh, unfortunately tonight, at least one of you is leaving this competition. Please excuse us. We need a moment to discuss. Thank you. Uh, it's yeah, great, huh? Oh, yeah, I like uh, the pecans. Uh, Leslie's tasted delicious. Yeah, I thought it was the best. I've been doing this a lot longer than you, before you were even born. The amount of icing in the center of Cutter is way too sweet. Got to be able to lead and take Yes, too. OK. You're doing a terrific job. Dan Woods is way too dry. Like a big, big red cookie. Scandalous. No, it's all right. No. Willie, step forward, please. You didn't have to be down here cooking. But by staying down here, you proved your integrity and your ability. You are safe. Thank you. Please head up to the balcony. Good job. Come on, Big Willie. Yeah, Willie. I'm ecstatic. I came in saying I was a baker, and I've proven myself as a baker. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Amazing. Leslie, your red velvet cake tasted as good, if not better, than Big Willie's. Please join everyone else up on the balcony. You are Thank safe. Thank you, Chef. Dan and Cutter, unfortunately, one of you will be leaving this competition shortly. One of you has a humble approach. One of you has a 
boisterous, somewhat disrespectful approach. But ultimately, it's about what you put on a plate, how you cook across this pressure test. I am competing directly with Cutter, who honestly doesn't want to respectfully learn and grow as a cook. I should be the one to stay. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, I think my cake technically was done right. It looked a lot better than his. I deserve to stay here, and Dan needs to go home. Dan and Cutter, let's be honest, both cakes had their ups and downs. However, there was one that has the edge, a person that will be safe from elimination and not leaving the biggest culinary competition anywhere in the world tonight. Cutter. You are safe. Head up to the balcony. Good honor. Dan Wu, wowed us from the beginning. Unfortunately, your keg is so dry, it's actually the texture of a biscuit. I'm sorry. It's time for you to take off your apron and leave MasterChef. Come and say goodbye. Thank you for this uh, Good luck, Dan. opportunity. Thank you. Keep working at it. Yeah, great time. flavors. Don't stop cooking. Absolutely okay. not. Never. Thank you, Dan. Please put your apron on your bench. Thank you. Good night. Being here has been like living in a dream that I didn't even know I had. Dan Wu. Yeah! To have gotten as far as I've gotten is affirmation that I'm as good as I think I am. Wow, that looks beautiful, Dan. Dan Wu, Dan Wow. Great job. Thank you. The sheer joy of learning and experiencing things I never thought I would do, uh, it's been unreal. week on Master Chef, a giant mystery box challenge has the home cooks confronting Gordon Ramsay. He's like a samurai. Done. I mean, the guy's a master. And the fight for a place in the top 12. This is amazing. This is one of the best that you've put up. Pushes the home cooks to the limit. What's the matter? I need a medic. Go some water, please. Quick. You okay? Oh. One potato, two potato.